Hello, my dears. Glad to meet you again. How are you? I am fine. And I hope you are fine too. Today, we are going to uh, Japan. A trip to Japan. Are you ready? Uh, are you ready to visit Japan? Then uh, pack your bag and let's go. Ready? Here we go. Listen. Look here. Here we go. Here is our aeroplane. And we, we are inside the aeroplane now. And we are flying to Japan. Listen. Yeah, this is the airport. We have landed in Japan airport. Here, Japan Airlines. So, watch the uh, airport. How beautiful it is. And there are so many airplanes. Like our best stand. <laughs> the airport is like our best stand. So many airplanes. Okay. So, now we are inside the airport. We are going outside to watch the uh, scenes, watch the different places in Japan. Okay. Tokyo International Airport. We have landed there. Tokyo International Airport. Yeah, we have landed in the Terminal 1. Okay, let's go outside. We have only a very short time. So, hurry up. Yes. This is the city of Tokyo. Tokyo City. Very tall building. And don't you know, Japan is the country of technology. Uh, computers, robots, etc. So this is Tokyo City. Don't you know which is the capital of Japan? If you don't know, uh, search it in Google. You can get it. Okay. So we are here in Japan, in Tokyo. Look, wow, this is the air view, view from sky of Tokyo. View from sky, sky view, profile view. Okay, so, this is the uh, Tokyo city again. We are here in a bus terminal, bus station, bus stand. So these are the buses. How beautiful, look at the buildings. Very tall buildings and beautiful, colorful, isn't it? Again, this is the uh, Tokyo city with tall, tall, tall buildings. This is again the sky view of Tokyo city against the Mount Fuji. This is the Mount Fuji. Look at the Mount Fuji very carefully. Don't you know what is Mount Fuji? Yes, a volcano. A dead volcano. It is, uh, I think it is not active now. The volcano Mount Fuji. Let's ask to the guide. Okay, is it active or not? You search and find out whether Mount Fuji is um, active volcano or a dead volcano. Okay. So this is Tokyo city, the sky view. And this is Mount Fuji. Look, there is a lake near Mount Fuji. Can you see Mount Fuji, the volcano? Yes. Wow, this is a picture of Mount uh, Fuji when it has erupted. This is lava. Flowing from the volcano Fuji, Mount Fuji. Okay. This is Shiba Park in Tokyo. So we are in the Shiba Park, Tokyo. Did you like the park? How beautiful it is. Isn't it? Okay. Now we are watching the second tallest tower in the world. It is in Tokyo. The second tallest tower. Tokyo Sky Tree. What is the name? Tokyo Sky Tree. And don't you know 
which is the tallest tower in the world? If you don't, just search it and find out and tell me too, okay? So this is the second tallest tower in the world, okay, in Tokyo. And now we are in a temple. The name of this temple is Sensoji Temple in Tokyo. Sensoji Temple in Tokyo. Okay. This is the cycle rickshaws in Tokyo. Waiting for the tourist. Cycle rickshaws. This is Ginza Street. Ginza Street in Tokyo. Look at very clean roads street, isn't it? Okay. And this is the Imperial Palace in Tokyo, Japan. And don't you know Japan is under the rule of a king even uh, this time. So this is the palace. How beautiful it is, the surrounding of the palace. Look each and everything very carefully. We have uh, got a chance to visit Japan. <laughs> okay. Hi, this is the Rainbow Bridge in Tokyo. We can walk through it. The Rainbow Bridge. And this is the Sumo Wrestling. Sumo wrestling in Japan. So the two boxers, wrestlers are wrestling. Okay. This is the museum of Tokyo. Do you remember the museum in Thiruvanthapuram? Don't you? Yeah, like that. It is the museum of Tokyo. This is a place in Tokyo named Jigo Kudani. Jigo Kudani. Oh, oh, how beautiful it is. All the flowers, trees and the snow and the mountains. So beautiful a place, a tourist place. This is Matsumoto Castle. Matsumoto Castle in Tokyo. That also is beautiful. This is another tourist place in Japan, a bamboo grove, a bamboo grove. Here, it's a stone, uh, it's also a uh, tourist place, stone lanterns in the place of Nara in Japan, Tokyo. And now, uh, till now we are in the city. Now uh, we are going to villages of Japan. This is a village in Japan. Look at the houses. And don't you remember the tall towers, tall buildings in the city? But this is a village. This is the sky view of the village in Japan. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Look at the uh, look at the houses, etc. This is another village house. This is another village house. Another view of a village in Japan. This is a house in Japan. Look at the uh, making of the house. Listen, look here. Yeah, these are the peoples from Japan. These also are peoples from Japan. And this is, this dress is known as kimono. The traditional dress of Japan. Kimono. A father, mother and two children from Japan. Two children and a mother wearing kimono. 
the uh, uh, traditional Japanese dress. Two people from Japan meet them and say hello to them. Hello. And this is the chopstick. The Japan people used to uh, have their food, chopsticks, instead of spoon. This is a food time in a Japan, Japanese family. And you can see uh, chopsticks. Here a person is uh, eating food using the chopsticks and a spoon. Again, using chopsticks. So we are uh, going back to, uh, coming back to our country, India, Kerala and Tirantaburyam. And before that, don't forget to buy a book uh, written in Jap Japanese language. This is the book written in Japanese language and there is a Malayalam version of the text. The name is Toto-chan. It is a must read book. Don't forget to read it. Never, never, never miss this book. You should read this book. So beautiful a book. And this book is in our school library. You can take this book and read Toto-chan. Okay. So don't forget to uh, read this book. Okay. Now we are back in our country. Did you like the trip? Okay. And do you know why we have gone to a trip to Japan? Yeah, we are going to read a story from Japan. A folk tale from Japan. Are you ready? Shall we read? Okay, listen here. Yes, here is our story, The Boy Who Drew Cats. It's a Japanese folk tale. Listen here, folk tale, T-A-L-E tale. What do you mean by folk tale? Tale means story. Folk tale. Haven't you heard folk dance? What do you mean by folk dance? And haven't you heard folk song? What do you mean by folk songs? Nadodi Patagal, Nadodi Nratam, Nadodi Kathagal, folk tale. Uh, then what do you mean by folk tale? That is, uh, what is the um, essence of a folk tale? Nadodi Patagal, Nadodi Kathagal, Enaka Paranyala, Idu Panda Kalata, Alagala, Paranyam Padim, Matulavar Paticha, Patagal and Kathagalavan. That is the Panda. This 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 is the Panda. Now, we will be able to get the language. 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 We will be able to get So, here we have a Japanese folk tale. What is the name of the folk tale? The Boy Who Drew Cats. If you have a folk tale, you can see that 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 you can see the boy who drew cats. The boy who drew cats. Okay, ready? Shall we read it? Listen. A long, 
long time ago in a small country country village in japan there lived a poor farmer and his wife who were very good people they had a number of children and found it very hard to feed them all the eldest son was strong enough when only 14 years old to help his father and the little girls learned to help their mother almost as soon as they could walk okay so we are going to read about the story of a poor farmer and his wife in japan they were very good people very good people good but poor people no problem they had a number of children what do you mean by a number of children so many children listen here they have so many children 1 2 3 4 5 5 children and more children that is they had they had a number of children and found it very hard to feed them all feed bhakshanam kodukka feed ithreyum kuttigal undaavumbo bhakshanam kodukkan undaavo they are poor so it is very hard hard kathinam buddhimutta it is very hard to feed them all the elder son was strong enough elder ah what do you mean by elder ekto mutta the elder son was strong enough when only 14 years old to help his father look this the elder son is only 14 years but he is helping his father in his work and the little girls learned to help their mother almost as soon as they could walk and the little girls can you see the little girls ah uh, they are helping their mother and this is a very little girl and what is the sentence here as soon as they could walk nadakkaraya pa modal they are helping their mother okay can you get the idea idea of this uh, uh, family all these five or six or 10 children and the poor father and mother okay but the youngest child a little boy did not seems to seem to be fit for hard work he was very clever cleverer than all his brothers and sisters but he was kind weak and small and people said he could never grow very big so his parents thought it would be better for him to become a priest than to become a farmer they took him with them to the village temple one day and asked the good old priest who lived there if he would have their little boy for his acolyte and teach him all that a priest ought to know okay but the youngest child a little boy so who is the youngest child ekto melaya kutti aarayirunu a little boy this boy this this boy youngest child did not seem to be fit for hard work Don't you know the meaning of hard work? Yes, you know hard work. Kathinya thwanam. The boy is not fit for. What do you mean by fit? Suitable. Fit means suitable. I could take a hard work to put it like that. No. He was very clever. Ah, hard work. Because he is very clever. 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 clever cleverer than all his brothers and sisters cleverer than what do you mean by cleverer kudal buddhiman aayirunu 
than all his brothers and sisters. But he was quite weak and small. Quiet. Couldn't be quiet. Complete. Q-U-I-T-E. Look at the spelling. Q-U-I-T-E. Quiet. Means complete. Okay. He was quite weak and small. Weak. Couldn't be weak. Weak. Without health. Not healthy. Weak means not healthy. Chinicha Aryo Gimilata. He was quite weak and small. Very small. And people said he could never grow very big. He could never grow very big. Chatane pole vilyadai vadari line. He is small and weak. He has no health. He is not healthy. So his parents thought it would be better for him to become a priest. Better for him to become a priest than to become a farmer. Karshagan Agadam Engel health nalla arugya mena. Mende krishpani chayyan. But a priest, what about a priest? Priest is shariran gondana adhvani kinnada? Alla. Manasu gondana, brain, buddhi gondana. Uh, hard work chain. So, uh, our little boy is very weak. He cannot do hard work. Then, what is the job he can do? Achinomi Vijarichu, he can do the um, job of a priest. Job of a priest. What will be priest? You know, Puryohide. They took him with them. To the village temple one day. Village temple. Don't you remember the temple? A temple we have seen in Japan. Don't you remember? Ah, such a temple. Adu poli uriya uris thalat uri temple uriya chetra thila kundu boi. And asked the good old priest. Look at the word this. Asked. Asked. Asked in Vaikilya. Asked. Once more. Asked. Okay. Asked the good old priest who lived there. In the temple, village temple, there is a priest. And what are the adjectives? Good old priest. Good old priest. Good old priest. I will show you a priest. Yes. This is a Japan priest and this is another Japan priest okay good old priest who lived there if he could have the little boy for his acolyte acolyte look at this word acolyte what do you mean by acolyte acolyte means uh, the, a person, a boy who helps the priest. A boy or a girl, a person who can, helps the priest. Purohidane sahai kanunayitullah aliniyana acolyte in the paraya. An assistant, a helper, an acolyte. So if he would have the little boy for his acolyte, a priest in that take care. Sahai ai kuta mo in a kutie. Karnenda, he is not healthy to become a farmer. That is. If he would have the little boy for his satellite and teach him all that a priest ought to know and teach him to be a priest. Aravanana, Purohidanaganangal Padikin dekuri karyangal. So away la Padikya mo in an to teach him. All that a priest ought to know, ought to know, ought, must. The ought to know. The old man spoke kindly to the lad and asked him some hard questions. So clever were the answers that the priest agreed to take the little fellow into the temple as an acolyte and 
to educate him for the priesthood. Okay. The old man spoke kindly to the lad. Spoke. Past tense of speak. Speak, spoke, spoken. The old man spoke kindly to the lad. Lad. Lad means boy. Lad meaning boy. Kindly. What do you mean kindly? Kindly. The old man spoke kindly to the lad and asked him some hard questions. Ah, they were in some sort of okay. But the questions were hard. Very difficult questions. The priest asked some difficult questions. Hard questions. But our boy is very clever. Don't you remember? Very clever. So clever were the answers. The answers were very clever. And the boy knew the answers. That the priest agreed to take the little fellow into the temple as an acolyte. So the priest liked the little boy. Why? He knew so many things. He answered his questions very cleverly. Very correctly. So the priest took the little fellow into the temple as an acolyte. What do you mean by who is little fellow here? Little fellow, the boy. And to educate him for, for the priesthood. Priesthood as a priest. Priesthood means as a priest. Hood in the number of the Vaikilia, Udimich Vaikinam, priesthood. What is the word? Priesthood. Boyhood. Like that. Priesthood. So our boy is now with the priest in the temple. In the village temple. Let's read more. The boy learned quickly what the old priest taught him and was very obedient in most things. But he had one fault. He liked to draw cards during study hours and to draw cards even where cards ought not to have been thrown at all. The boy learned quickly what the old priest taught him. Quickly. What do you mean by quickly? Petana. Valare vegatil, vegatil, faster. Fast. The boy learned quickly. What is this word learned? Patichu. The boy studied quickly what the old priest taught him. Teach, taught, taught. Teach. Don't you know the meaning of teach? Yes, the past tense of teach is taught. Padipichu. Okay. Taught him and was very obedient. What do you mean by obedient? Obedient. Anisaraneula. Are you obedient to your father, mother, teacher, etc.? Yes. You should obey the elders. That's a must thing. Isn't it? Okay. And the boy also was very obedient in most things. In the most things. What do you mean by in most things? Mikya kariyengalaya. Medaand illa kariyengalaya. Anna chala chala prashnengalanda. Listen. But he had one fault. Fault. F-A-U-L-T. Fault. What in be fault? Mistake. Uru kudappa. Mistake. But he had one fault. He liked to draw cats. He liked to draw cats. He is drawing cats. Everywhere. He is drawing cats. Everywhere. Look at this picture. What is he doing? He is drawing cats. Everywhere on the uh, on the soil. Using a twig. Using a twig. He is drawing cats. He liked to draw cats. During study hours. That is the problem. During 
study hours h o u r s how can we read it hours h is silent h ne vaikirudu h is silent hours study hours padikkanda samayatha varichondirunna pattuvo pattilla padikkanda samayatha kalichondirunnal kaari nadakkilla padikkanda po nammal padikkanavallo but the boy what is the boy doing drawing cats during the study hours and to draw cats even where cats ought not to have been thrown at all ought not have to be have been thrown at all varikendatha svarichudatha sthalangalilum varichirikku that is that is the fault of the boy cats even where cats ought not to have been thrown at all varikeridatha sthalangal so that's all for today uh, let us see what is happening to the boy in the uh, temple in the next class okay so read these paragraphs so many times and read record and post the uh, recording of these paragraphs to me personally okay then let us meet in the group uh, for the discussion to clear your doubts so meet there in the group and meet in the next uh, meet you in the next class till then bye bye see you